guitar enthusiasts, we're going to be doing an Elvis Christmas classic. We're going to be doing his version of Here Comes Santa Claus. Uses all open chords. Great for beginners. Let's get into it. So this song uses eight open chords, but you could easily eliminate two of them. I'm going to show you how right now. We have a regular E minor chord, and you can play that with your first and second finger or your second and third finger. Uh, but we also have an E minor seven chord that shows up every once in a while. But if you're not very comfortable getting in and out of that, uh, you can just play the E minor chord, all right? The other chord we have is A major and A seven. Again, if you're not very comfortable with that A7 chord just yet, you could just play the A major chord. It'll be just fine. All right, other chords we're gonna run into, G chord, D chord, and then once we're gonna play a D minor chord at the very end, and an E major seven chord at the very end, okay? So this E7 chord that we're gonna be playing, you could play the four fingered version, which has much more twang to it. Or if you're a beginner need an easier version, if you can play E major, just lift up that third finger and you've got an E7 chord with just two fingers. Now, if you wanna follow along with the notes for my lesson, you can always go to laurenbateman.com and I have all the stuff right over there. Now, before I show you the strumming pattern, for this song, I'm just gonna play it really quickly so you can see what we're gonna be doing. One, two, ready, and here comes Santa Claus, here comes Santa Claus, right down Santa Claus Lane. Blitzing and blitzing and all his rain, they're pulling on the rain. Bells are ringing, children singing, all is merry and bright. So bring your stockings and say your prayers, cause Santa Claus comes to so you can hear this song is very low, it's Elvis, and if you're a female singer like me, I'm gonna give you a little tip on how you can change this for your voice a little bit down the road. Uh, but you can hear it's a peppy song, and the strumming pattern we're gonna be using is an eighth note strumming pattern. So it's one, two, and three, and four, and one, two, and three, and four, and we're gonna be playing that down, down, up, down, up, down, up. But there was a little bit of an extra spice I threw in there, but first let's start off with the foundation, get the timing down, and then I'll tell you what that spice was. So if we get a little G chord going here, we're gonna do one, two, and three, and four, and just go nice and slow and get that timing. One, two, and three, and four. Now, obviously, the song's a little bit peppier than that, and the spice I like to add, because it has such pep and fire to it, is I like to do almost like a bass down, which means on the first strum, I'm not strumming all the strings. I'm just kind of catching one or two of the top strings of each chord, so it's going to sound like this. You can see I'm kind of really accenting that second strum as opposed to which would work. We've got so you can see it just gives a little bit more drive to the song and with Elvis I feel like you really need that extra little punch so if you want to try throwing that in there Go right ahead. Now there's a couple spots where you saw I changed the chords a little bit quicker. You probably heard that, and if you didn't, what we're doing there is we're splitting a measure. So each chord is only gonna be two beats. And the strumming pattern we're gonna be using is down, down, up, down, down, up, or one, two, and three, four, M. And the two chords are gonna be changing. The first time it's gonna be E minor seven to A, and the second time it's gonna be E minor to A. So on each of those chords, we're gonna be doing down, down, up, down, down, up. And I wanna show you a cool little transition, a little pivot point for you guys. I love showing these little tricks to you to make things easier. Even if you don't know E minor seven that well, if you know your D chord, your third finger's already in place. You don't, you know, typically you would play that seven note with your pinky, but here, if your third finger's in place and you can make this stretch and it's comfortable for you, you can play your E minor seven like this. And then when you go to play your A chord, you just have to slide this finger back one string, put your other fingers into place. So it'll look like this. We've got D, E minor seven, A. 
okay? And the strumming would be one, two, and three, and four, and one, two, and three, four, and one, two, and three, and four, and. Okay, a little bit faster. And another little tip while we're talking about chords for those of you that aren't really great with that A7, if you're playing a D chord, all you have to do is lift up your third finger and move each of these fingers up one string each, and you've got that A7. So really easy to move these fingers back and forth to go between that D chord and A7. D chord and A7. So that's something you can practice if you've never used that A7 chord before. And if you guys don't know me, my name is Lauren Bateman, where I help make the guitar make sense so that you can have more fun playing the songs you know and love. I especially love working with older beginners, those of you over the age of 50. You are my favorite kind of people, and that's why we love Elvis. Now there's one last point of the song that I have to go over before we get into the playthrough, and that is the outro. Okay, we change up the chords a little bit here. This is where that E7 chord is gonna come in in that D minor chord. We only have to, oh, that was a bad D minor, Lauren. Uh, this D minor chord, we only have to play them once, all right? And we're playing everything as a full measure, so it's gonna be an E7 chord to A to D for two measures, then D minor. And then you can strum the D and hold it, or I like to strum it and cut it off real fast because it is one of those peppy songs. So this outro is gonna sound like this. Cause Santa Claus comes tonight. Now if you don't wanna know the little trick for adjusting songs like this for your voice, if you have a higher voice, you can go right now and fast forward to the play along, but if you want to know that special trick, we're going to talk about that right now. So we're going to use a nifty little tool called a capo, and a capo just is a little clamp that we put on our guitar to change the song for our voice. Now, if you want to know what Elvis is doing, we're starting on a D chord, okay? And Elvis's starting note is this D note. Here comes Santa Claus, here comes Santa Claus, right down Santa Claus Lane. And I can get down there, but it's definitely not in my range. If you wanted to, if you were a female singer, you could play the octave, you could go an octave higher. Here. It's the note where the third finger is playing on the D chord. Okay, so it's the octave. Okay, so it's here. Santa Claus, here comes Santa Claus, right down Santa Claus Lane. Now, if you have, you know, maybe if you're a mezzo-soprano or a soprano, that might work for you. Where I'm an alto, I have a lower voice. That's not going to work for me. The notes eventually are going to get too high. So what I do is I use this trusty little capo, and I'm probably going to capo it up around the fifth fret here, and I can still play the D chord without having to change any of the chords. You can hear that D chord got a lot brighter. This is my starting note now. Here, here comes Santa Claus, here comes Santa Claus, right down Santa Claus Lane. He's got a bag that's filled with toys for boys and girls again. So you can hear how my voice, it's a lot better suited to my voice. And if you have a really high voice, you could sing this note. Here comes Santa Claus, here comes Santa Claus, right down Santa Claus Lane. But you can hear that's going to be way too high for me. But someone with a, a much higher voice, like a soprano, probably could, could use that note. So there you go. You can use the capo. And even if you're a guy and you have a higher voice, maybe you're, you're more of like a, a tenor, um, you can adjust these capo and just play the same chords and it'll change it around for your voice. But we're back to the playthrough and I'm gonna do it in the Elvis way. We're gonna do just the open D chord. This song is peppy, so if you need to use the settings cog to slow things down, please do that. Um, but practice this through as many times as you need. I'm gonna do two verses and the outro, just so you guys have a little something to practice with. Well, two, ready? Here we go. Here comes Santa Claus, here comes Santa Claus, right down Santa Claus Lane. Blitzing and blitzing and all his rain, they were pulling on the reins. Bells are ringing, children singing, all is merry and bright. So hang your stockings and say your prayers, cause Santa Claus comes to life. Here comes Santa Claus, here comes Santa Claus, right down Santa Claus 
lane He's got a bag that's real good toys for boys and girls again Hear those sleigh bells jingle jangle, oh what a beautiful sight So jump in bed and cover your head, cause Santa Claus comes tonight The Santa Claus comes tonight Now, if you love Elvis Christmas classics as much as I do, then you're definitely going to want to go check out my blue Christmas lesson right over there where I'm going to show you how to play the song through step by step. I'll see you over there.